So, you're playing your favorite game, and you notice that if you linger a bit too long on the title screen, it goes into an opening cinematic. How do we replicate this within RenPy? Well, first, we're going to add two images, off-white and black. You can change these up based on your need, but this is what I'm going to use for this tutorial. Off-white is going to be da-da-da, and cybersecurity tip, never put da-da-da as your password. It'll get found out sooner rather than later. Black is just all zeros. And then we're going to create a transform. I'm going to call it title drop. And what it's basically going to do is it's going to start out fully transparent. It's going to wait for 0.5 seconds. And then it's going to ease into fully opaque. And then we're going to create a screen called title screen. And it's going to contain two V boxes and a timer. In the first V box, basically just the title of the game. In this case, it's World Without Effort. And then the second text box is just going to say, click start to begin. I have it positioned 300 down from the top and centered to the screen. That's what Xaline.5 does. And YPause 300 basically moves it 300 pixels down from whatever the top of the screen is. The second V-Box is also going to be aligned to center, and it's going to contain an image button. We're going to have two images for the start button, one called start underscore idle and another called start underscore hover. The auto means that it, it's going to search for idle, hover, and the rest of those attributes for this uh, image button. So essentially, if we go to game GUI, we have start hover, .png and start idle.png. So having auto in the code will make it so that it will use the hover and idle, and we don't have to define those separately. Focus mask is true. This means that if we have an image that takes up a large canvas area, but the image itself is a smaller section of that canvas, it is only going to make the filled in parts active. So if I hover over here, it's not going to select this this button because the this is fully transparent. There's no pixels where my mouse is here. But if I go over here where there are pixels, this will activate the image button. And then return basically means it's going to return some value. Well, in this case, it's a string. And then the at title drop is a transform. So that basically means that this image button is going to slowly fade in over the course of half a second. And then the last thing on our screen is a timer. This timer is set for 10 seconds, and at the end of those 10 seconds, it returns play movie. So the action is returning a value, play movie. So how does that come into play? In our splash screen, we're going to call the screen title screen, and calling a screen is different than showing a screen. If we take a look at the RenPy documentation, we can see that call screen is used for when you want to show a screen only temporarily. We want to hide this screen at the end of our interaction. We don't want it to linger on after we press the start button. So back to our code, we have call screen, title screen, and basically we are waiting for either the player to click the start button or for the timer to run out. So if the return from that screen is equal to start game, then it goes to the main menu. If the return from that screen is play movie, then it plays the opening cinematic. In your case, this path will be different. The next thing it does is we're going to get rid of that and return just brings you to the main menu. And if you want to be extra sure that we get to the main menu through hook or crook, you'll put an else return. So how does that look? We can see that World Without Effort and Click to Start are showing. It activates and if we wait too long, then the opening cinematic plays. And if I click out of that, it goes to the main menu. Conversely, if we were to not wait around and just hit start game, it would go to the main menu without showing the opening cinematic. And if we wait until the end of the opening cinematic, it drops us to the main menu anyway. You can change around the timer to suit your needs, or you can play the opening cinematic before the main menu without having to wait. It's up to you to decide what's best for your game.